Hey guys, I just wanted to tell you about my time in Namibia. I had a really awesome time there. It's um, a really relaxing town. It's really small and the population is really, really low. So we docked in Walvis Bay, which is an industrial city. A lot of it is fisheries and, you know, there's a very, very pungent smell of fish and fish meal and things like that. But um, we went up to Swakopmund, which is a German town about 20 kilometers north of Walvis Bay, and we hung out there for a few days. So I just wanted to tell you all about my travels and the things I enjoyed. So the first day when we got in, I woke up really early so I could watch us pulling into port like I did in Salvador, because in Salvador there's these huge skyscrapers and a really beautiful skyline. When we pulled into Namibia, I couldn't see a single thing. The fog was so thick, I, like, we all were out there just waiting until we could see land, and we pretty much could not see the land until we were docked. And so we pull in, and there's these two men, so vibrant. They have their hands up, Welcome to Africa! Africa! And it was so beautiful. Um, I think the cameraman got it on video, so hopefully that'll work its way into the end of the year video, because that would be really exciting. They were so excited just to welcome us all finally to Africa. A lot of people, it was their very first time ever being there. Um, so for lunch that day, we went over to this town. It's about probably a 10 minute walk from the port, so we just walked there because we wanted to see what there was around that area. So we walked and we found this restaurant and my friend Austin and I walk in and we ask, well, what's for lunch? Can we see the menu? And this woman looks at us and she says, we have barbecue. And we're like, all right. And so the eight of us sit down, we get barbecue, it comes with these four huge plates of food with meats and pasta, pasta salad, I don't even know what it was on it, but it was all really, really delicious. And we all got a beer. Um, we got, I forget what the beer was. Oh, Winhook. It's from their capital. It's called Winhook. And the meal came to about 25 US dollars for the eight of us. And it was a lot of food, plus drinks. So we kind of got the impression that things were going to be pretty inexpensive in Namibia. And we were right. Everything was, you know, really, really, really well priced. Um, so that night, after we would, had just been walking around Walvis Bay all day, just, you know, seeing what the town was all about, exploring, we got in a taxi and we had heard about this bar slash restaurant um, in one of the guidebooks, and we also heard that it was really, really good. So we got in a taxi and we said, can you take us here? And he said, no, no, all of your friends are at the raft. And so we pretty much got kidnapped, got taken to the raft, which is this restaurant with a big bar in the middle, and, um... The whole restaurant's actually over the water, and so that was pretty cool because it has 360 degree views of the water, basically. Um, so we get there, and there's about 200 SAS kids there, and just more and more and more keep showing up. We had a really, really good time just hanging out there, and you know there was a few locals that we had talked to, so that was good. Um, the next day, we woke up pretty early, and we went to Swakopmund. Uh, we took a taxi there. We took one of those big taxi vans because there was nine of us, and we checked into a bungalow. We got a bungalow. It's an A-frame bungalow, and on the first floor, there was one bedroom with two beds, a bathroom, a shower, a dining area, and a kitchen, and then you go up this, like, really rickety flight of stairs, and then there's two bedrooms up there, and each of those have two beds. Um, so we ended up staying there. It was really, really inexpensive. I think it worked out, too. About 150 US dollars for two nights, divided by all those people. So it worked out being really, really inexpensive. So after we checked into the hotel and dropped off all of our backpacks, we went to Village Cafe to get some lunch. Um, some people got, you know, omelets and things like that because they hadn't had breakfast yet. I ended up getting a sandwich, which was pretty good. And we all got this chai tea latte. Best chai tea on the planet. It was so delicious. And while we were there, we were just sitting and I was like, hey guys, listen. And the Rolling Stones, Paint It Black, was playing. And then I realized we were sitting in Africa in a German-style beer house. Our waitress was Dutch. And we were listening to the American Rolling Stones. And so that was a lot of culture kind of all thrown into one place. And we noticed that a lot more as we went to Namibia. They, had, they didn't really have like their own type of food. It was more food that had been imported from German colonization. Or food that they had brought over from the U.S. Like Kentucky Fried Chicken. And so we really did notice the meshing of cultures there. And so after that we were walking around the little town of Swakop. Um, it's about 25,000 people. And the whole entire downtown area is about five streets by five streets. So 
so you can imagine. It's pretty small. So we were walking, and we ran into some other SAS kids, and they said, go down to the water. There's this really big open-air market with a lot of crafts. And so we went down there, and I kept seeing these beautiful giraffe wooden statues. And like, these are really, really cool, but, you know, since we're American, they kept quoting the prices really, really high. And so eventually I found this stone giraffe that I really, really wanted. I really liked it. And so I went up to the guy, asked him how much. I bargained a little bit. And we got down to a price that was pretty good. So this is the draft statue that I got. It's all stone. Um, so yeah, I'm really glad that I finally found that and got it for a really good price. And then as we were leaving, this guy comes up to me and he has these, you know, um, their palm nuts in his hands and he says, what's your name? And I said, Allison. And he said, how do you spell that? And he took a little pen and he carved that into his arm and I was like, what is this guy doing? And he pulls out this little palm nut out of his hand and he starts carving my name into it right here and he writes 2008 in Namibia and it's a little Christmas ornament that he made for me. I forget how much it was but it was pretty cheap and it's you know custom made and the guy was really really nice about it. He told me something that um, really has stuck in my mind. We were just sitting there talking while he was carving into the nut and he said you know you guys will probably spend more in the few days that you're here than I make an entire year and just him saying that was really striking because a lot of people there don't live on very much. They're very simple people. It's a very relaxed town. So, you know, just those words really, really did stick with me. Um, after the market, we just went back to the bungalow and we hung out for a little bit and we ended up walking down to the pier and we watched the sunset. It is so beautiful. It's one of those typical African sunsets. Usually it's over desert, but we're watching it over the ocean. But it's just really red, really red, really big, and just absolutely gorgeous. Um, after that we went to Ocean Basket for dinner and we got this, I shared it with Bill and Elaine, we got this huge platter of seafood because Ocean Basket is obviously known for their food. It was enough food probably for five or six people and it was really really inexpensive. It had calamari, calamari heads, uh, calamari steak, squid, something that looked really funky with like heads and tentacles and things that you know we kind of poked at but I don't think anyone actually ate it. You know, some oysters, some pasta, some french fries, just all sorts of food, just this gigantic tray. Um, so yeah, after that we just went back to the bungalow. We were all pretty tired just from doing so much that day. The next day we woke up and we went to the Swakopmund National Aquarium. Um, we ended up going there because nothing is open on Sundays. Before that, we walked around for probably a good hour and a half trying to find a place that was just happened to be open on a Sunday so we could get some breakfast. We went to this place called Moo or Mad Cow or something like that. They had some pretty good food. I got um, just like an egg sandwich, which was really delicious. Um, they also had like BLTs and regular egg omelets, things like that. So we went to the aquarium. It's basically one humongous tank that you can walk through and you can go up to the top and look down on it and it has all sorts of animals just all mixed together. So that was really, really cool. Um, after that, 